The Great American Solar Eclipse is getting near, and if you don't want to miss it, we'll explain where and when to see it so you don't have to wait until 2044. But first, we'll explain total solar eclipses and show you how to safely observe it on April 8, 2024. Then finally list where and when you need to be as to witness this cosmic spectacle. A solar eclipse, a captivating cosmic phenomenon, unfolds when the moon traverses between the Earth and the Sun resulting in the temporary concealment of the Sun's luminous disk. This celestial occurrence captivates observers as it transforms the day into a surreal twilight, casting a mysterious shadow over the landscape. Solar eclipses manifest in various forms with the total solar eclipse standing as the most dramatic. During a total solar eclipse the moon's apparent diameter surpasses that of the Sun, effectively blocking all direct sunlight and plunging regions along its path into near-total darkness. This extraordinary event unfolds within a narrow band traversing the Earth's surface, while surrounding areas experience a partial solar eclipse where only a portion of the Sun's brilliance is obscured. If the Moon orbits the Earth several times a month, why are solar eclipses so rare? The rarity of solar eclipses stems from the complicated orbital dance of the Earth, Moon, and Sun in space. The Moon's orbit is tilted by approximately 5 degrees relative to Earth's orbit around the Sun, causing their alignment to occur sporadically. This tilt means that most of the time the Moon's shadow misses Earth entirely, sparing us from witnessing this celestial spectacle. In a moment we'll talk about when you see the eclipse but, first, let's talk about where you need to be in order to experience the eclipse in its totality along with what you'll see. When the alignment does occur, the viewing experience of a solar eclipse varies depending on one's position on Earth. The Moon's shadow consists of two distinct regions, the umbra and the penumbra. Observers within the umbra, also known as the path of totality, will witness the awe-inspiring phenomenon of a total solar eclipse, where the sun is completely obscured by the moon, making the appear as a ring of fire. Those situated in the penumbra will experience a partial eclipse, where only a portion of the sun is covered by the moon. They will witness the sky darkening and depending upon their proximity to the totality zone, will notice a twilight effect akin to that of early morning. But hold on, looking at the sun is dangerous and can blind you. We'll discuss how to safely experience the eclipse in a moment, but first, let's talk about where in North America this is going to happen. Later on we'll discuss where and when you can witness the totality of the eclipse in detail. On April 8, 2024, North America will bear witness to the spectacle of the Great North American Eclipse, a total solar eclipse spanning the continent from coast to coast. This celestial extravaganza promises an unforgettable experience for spectators across a vast expanse of land, from the Pacific shores to the Atlantic Ocean. The eclipse's trajectory will begin over the Pacific Ocean, passing just north of the Marquesas Islands, before journeying across the North American continent. Communities in Mexico, the United States, and Canada will be treated to the awe-inspiring sight of the moon's shadow, traversing the sky, transforming day into night for precious moments. In the United States, totality will sweep through a multitude of states, including Texas, Oklahoma, Arkansas, Missouri, Tennessee, Illinois, Kentucky, Indiana, Ohio, Michigan, Pennsylvania, New York, Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine. Notable cities such as Dallas, Texas, and Little Rock, Arkansas, will find themselves immersed in the moon's shadow, while others like Buffalo, New York, and Syracuse, and Maine, will experience the partial eclipse's breathtaking display. While the Umbra will cross the continent in a narrow path, the Penumbra will bathe most of the North American continent under its shadow. Did you know that you don't need special glasses to see the eclipse? Yes, just don't look at the sun directly. The eclipse's shadow can be observed in real time, projected onto sidewalks and buildings by sunlight filtering through tree leaves, which creates beautiful crescent patterns during the eclipse. This phenomenon is akin to a natural pinhole camera effect, Sunlight passing through gaps in tree foliage creates numerous crescent-shaped projections on the ground below, offering a fascinating spectacle. While the charm of witnessing a total solar eclipse is undeniable, it is essential to prioritize safety when observing this celestial event. Directly staring at the sun without adequate eye protection can lead to severe eye damage or permanent blindness. To safeguard your vision, you need to wear approved solar viewing glasses or solar filters specifically designed for eclipse observation. Alternatively, explore indirect viewing methods such as pinhole projectors or other solar eclipse viewers in order to experience the eclipse safely. 
By ensuring proper eye protection, you and other observers can immerse themselves in the wonder of the cosmos while keeping their vision intact for years to come. The event begins at daybreak, spanning thousands of miles southwest of the Pacific coast of Mexico. Totality occurs across a surprisingly short time span. It will only grace any particular viewer for about four minutes, so plan it out and be quick as to maximize your experience. The moon starts its journey to obscure the sun near Mazatlan, Mexico, beginning at 9.51 a.m. local time. Spectators in close proximity to Mazatlan will be enveloped in totality at precisely 11.07 a.m., lasting an impressive 4 minutes and 20 seconds. Subsequently, the moon's shadow will swiftly traverse Mexico, intersecting the Texas border at 1.10 p.m. Eastern Time. Totality will grace the United States from 2.27 p.m. to 3.33 p.m. Eastern Time, leaving cities across the United States in dark nets. Dallas, Texas will encounter Totality at 2.40 p.m. Eastern Time, followed by Idabel, Oklahoma at 2.45 p.m. Eastern Time, next Little Rock, Arkansas at 2.51 p.m. Eastern Time, and Poplar Bluff, Missouri at 2.56 p.m. Eastern Time, followed by Paducah, Kentucky at 3 p.m. Eastern Time, Next up will be Evansville, Indiana at 3.02 p.m. Eastern Time, and then Cleveland, Ohio at 3.13 p.m. Eastern Time, and Erie, Pennsylvania at 3.16 p.m. Eastern Time, only to be followed by Buffalo, New York at 3.18 p.m. Eastern Time, followed by Burlington, Vermont at 3.26 p.m. Eastern Time, then Lancaster, New Hampshire at 3.27 p.m. Eastern Time, and finally, Caribou, Maine at 3.32 p.m. Eastern Time. Totality will leave the eastern shore of the United States at around 3.46 p.m. Eastern Time. We hope you enjoyed this episode and want to thank you for watching. Please subscribe to Orbital Prime and click the like button along with the bell to be notified when we release new episodes.